share with you basically how to influence sellers and property investors with the uh, world's second biggest search engine on the planet, which is YouTube. OK, so I'm going to walk you through um, basically how to essentially beat Google search, because if you do this right or for those who are doing it right, are actually beating um, and influencing people uh, way before they think about selling or buying or investing. So um, some of the options that you've got, um, obviously, is the free option, which uh, YouTube is unique in its way because versus TikTok and social media. The videos that you post on your YouTube channel, okay, are, they stay there. They don't have a, uh, a timeline as such. They don't last there for 24 minutes or 24 hours or 20 days or whatever it is on, on other platforms. They're pretty much there forever. Uh, I.e. we, you know, we still get leads, we still get inquiries from videos that we posted seven or eight months ago. Whereas our social media stuff is pretty much like, you know, it has about a week or two's worth of, uh, longevity and then obviously it dies a death and you have to consistently feel like you've got to produce content uh, all the time so um, with a uh, an upfront clear strategy and a goal uh, if you've got you know um, real good you know um, content uh, don't worry about having your face on camera you don't need to have your face on camera all the time uh, it's good if you want to be able to build a sort of a, a know like and trust obviously people like faces uh, it's a human nature um, they want to see the whites of your eyes, so to speak. Uh, but that's one of the things. So you can basically post stuff on your YouTube channel and it lasts for pretty much all the time. If obviously it's relevant to what the person's looking for. So don't just produce self-promoting stuff. Produce good educational content that's going to educate the home seller, the home buyer, the property investor um, in those particular categories. Uh, each in their own videos. Don't produce everything that just talks about you it's never about you it's all about the buyer or the seller and how you impact okay so have that in mind when you're recording videos like i i know this stuff or i'm learning this stuff and obviously it's an education don't know everything um so i produce this content to hopefully help you um be educated and be informed uh, and this is all about influencing that conversation three six months eight months down the line uh, before they even actually put the house on the market or buy a property to rent, rent and that sort of stuff. So the second format uh, is uh, running paid advertising on YouTube uh, through the Google platform because obviously it's owned by Google. So um, obviously Google, uh, Google and YouTube share uh, audience data and, and metrics and stuff like that because obviously it's in Google's interest to, you know, uh, make sure that they've got a video platform. Um, that competes, in fact, beats a lot of the other platforms, uh, you know, so it's good. Now, one little tip that I'll give you, whether you're producing free stuff or paid stuff, um, which are two totally different strategies, um, always give a call to action, like a free download, um, like a free a checklist, a buyer's guide, seller's guide, investor's guide, whatever it may be, or even, you know, you've been watching my stuff for a long time now, click, a call, click the link below, book a call, you know, one of our agents will be in touch with you about uh, obviously helping you, uh, you know, buy, sell, let, whatever it may be. Uh, make sure that you uh, don't waste money and buying your next property and that sort of stuff. Um, so, you know, for those who don't know, uh, oh, skipped ahead of myself there. So obviously I've just typed in a few moments ago how to get my first mortgage in the UK. I've typed in the UK because otherwise you do get a lot of American, South African, African, Australian mortgages. Uh, mortgage advisors but this is fantastic um, uh, mortgage advisor by the name of Alex Kerr uh, big shout out because he's pretty much every other video on YouTube which is great so it's a youtuber with a mortgage business how fun listen to what I'm saying there he's a YouTube he's a mortgage advisor with a YouTube strategy so it's a youtuber slash with a business behind it this is how he generates leads, I'm sure. Now, for those who go, oh, I don't watch videos. I don't watch YouTube videos. Look at these Look at these views here. He posted this video a year ago. Um, I'd probably update that now, and he has done, obviously, the video below. But, a th you know, uh, 40,000 views in a year. This one here is two months, 14,000 views. Okay. This one here, so at the bottom video here by 
Vantage Mortgages. So shout out to, I think this guy's based in Banbury. Um, nine months ago, 6,800 views, which is fantastic. So these guys are influencing people. They've produced content about getting your first mortgage. It's been picked up. They've, they've tagged it right. They've got the keywords in the headline. They've got all the title bar, all that sort of thing. They've gone really heavy into video because obviously this is now producing leads, I'm sure, week in, week out, month in, month out, and, and will work forever because obviously if someone's, you know, they're going to, people go to YouTube to be educated, boys and girls, and be, and research, whether it's interior design, areas to live, you know, like property developers, all that sort of stuff. This video, this um, this screen here was how to buy my first house, UK. Um, uh, Samuel Leeds was the first video organically. The top top boxes here are ads. So these are pay-per-click advertising uh, noted by the ad uh, in the uh, ad um, characters here. But this uh, this video here a year ago, eighty-six thousand views. Now Samuel is a property investor, so he buys properties. Um, he's just recently, well, two years, I think a year ago, two years ago, he bought the house, uh, the lives in and rented out. He, he finally bought it, which is, you know, fantastic. Uh, but he produced this a year ago, 86,000 views, boys and girls. So this one here is all about how to sell my house. Again, YouTube, um, you know, for those who go, oh, I don't, YouTube, why do we use YouTube? Look at the views, boys and girls. These are influencers. These are, these are people. Like this video here from Phil Spencer two years ago, how to sell a house UK episode one. He's got a YouTube channel uh, and sorry, a, a podcast on audible or whatever it is. Any other 21,000 views in two years. Imagine having 21,000 views. Now that might be from, you know, 10,000 people it doesn't make its influence. It's educating. Uh, now if Phil was to set up on a stage at near me, I'm sure he would blow my socks off. But the amount of stock he would get because he's, you know, he's built a publisher, you know, broadcasting, uh, presenter, uh, influencer, all these sort of, you know, I don't know, tags or whatever you want to call them, you know, puts them in a pigeonhole. But this one here, uh, two years ago, again, these are the first videos that I saw on my YouTube channel. Uh, you might see something different uh, depending on where you are. Uh, but like how to sell my house fast in the UK. So a little bit different there. So how to sell a, how to sell a house UK. How to sell your house fast. This video here, two thousand, sorry, three thousand seven hundred views. So a lot less views uh, in the same period of time. So obviously there's less people looking to sell my house fast versus let's go slow. And that, I'm sure that's because obviously. You know, you don't know what you don't know, and I suppose there's a fast way of selling your house and a quick and a, um, and a, and a slow way of selling your house um, and all that sort of stuff. So he's got some fantastic stuff. So YouTube, uh, with, when using YouTube, you've got to produce content, as I said before, about the buyer or the seller or the investor in mind. Don't go just thinking, oh, they're going to think about us as being cheap, uh, and we we're just the agent. Um, you've already got the content in your head. Um, just put content out there that educates the home buyer separate video home seller separate video property investor totally different video produce little content pieces uh, and then over time this will be uh, this will hopefully grant gain traction you'll get found that there is the alternative to the free stuff which is that that was free stuff that's the organic stuff that you see on uh, on YouTube anyway uh, or you can use the paid stuff which what Nat West have recently done uh, fantastic uh, video here, 14 seconds long, so not a big thing. It's what they call bumper ad. They're putting this in front of people who have just been recently looking at mortgages. If someone presses the skip button after five seconds, you don't pay for it. They don't pay for it. They only pay, uh, obviously in this case, obviously it's only 14 seconds long. Uh, so they'll pay for if someone watches all of the 14 seconds or clicks on this link here. Okay. And then they'll go through to set up an agreement in principle. The beauty of running the paid stuff through Google uh, is that we can get rid of certain age groups, i.e., which you can't do in social media because of obviously housing policy and stuff like that. But you can't get rid of anyone, um, and you know you can get, you know, you can't you can't discriminate basically because of housing policies and stuff and discrimination um, policies. 
but in YouTube, running with Google Ads, you can basically get rid of anyone who you would seem as, you know, I would question whether 25 to 34-year-olds are home buyers. I mean, you know, the average, they're saying that's a broad statement. I know that, and there will be one or two of you here that are under 30 or probably with a house, and you bought it. Well, congratulations, you're one of the few. Uh, the average first-time buyer now is at least, coming up to late 30s, early 40s, possibly. Um, broad sweeping statement. Again, if you're a homeowner and you're under the age of 40, congrats, hats off to you uh, because the mortgages and deposits and you know the, the, the rates are just ridiculous at the moment. So anyway, um, so we get rid of certain age groups that you can get rid of and we can show our ads to people who have gone to Google and gone, what's my house worth? How to buy my first house? And basically go after the audiences. We can go after people that are married, people that are homeowners, people that have tenants, and really like put our content right in front of somebody at the right time who have been looking at mortgages, who have been looking at equity home loans and all this sort of thing. A few American, Americanisms there, but they are the same audiences in the UK as well. So that's how we, um, that's how you build influence. So if you've got any questions about this type of thing, then uh, please do ask away. Um, you know, I'm here as a bit of a sounding board for you. And if you've got,